A sophisticated campaign has come to light, showcasing the strategic utilization of a formerly vulnerable flaw within GitLab as a pivotal element in an intricate scheme involving both crypto-jacking and proxy-jacking endeavors. Employing concealed signature-based tools to remain off the radar, the attacker leveraged a multi-pronged arsenal. This included a complex cross-platform malware, fortified command and control tools that adeptly bypassed traditional firewalls, and the strategic implementation of kernel rootkits to effectively veil their activities from detection mechanisms. The campaign's strategy employs the concept of proxy jacking, which involves harnessing compromised hosts for the creation of proxy networks, thereby monetizing untapped bandwidth resources. A distinctive hallmark of LABRAT's tactics lies in its exploitation of compiled binaries written in both Go and .NET languages, rendering their activities covert and difficult to detect. The campaign also opens doors to backdoor access on compromised systems, potentially culminating in cascading attacks, data breaches, or even ransomware episodes. A successful breach sets the stage for the retrieval of a dropper shell script from AC2 server. The utility, designed to establish a Cloudflare tunnel sans the addition of a site to Cloudflare's DNS, unwittingly emerges as a pawn in a grander, more nefarious scheme. In a tactical shift, the adversary pivoted to a different maneuver, substituting a solar server for Tri-Cloudflare. This facilitated the downloading of an exploit for PWN Kit, 2021 Cape Verde Escudos 4034, from the same concealed GitLab repository. A utility known as Global Socket, G-Socket, surfaced, furnishing remote access, while discrete binaries paved the way for the execution of crypto-jacking and proxy-jacking missions, employing recognized services like IP Royal and Proxy Lite. Undetected breaches fuel greater gains for the attacker, and amplify the costs borne by the victim. Stay ahead of ransomware attacks, subscribe to our channel.